Google search crack you CMAT mock test. Click on the first link and get 5 CMAT mock tests in the latest pattern. Also, check out the 5 testnet mock tests in the latest pattern. After submitting the mock, you can get detailed solutions with analysis. You can also find the previous year's papers on testnet and CMAT along with solutions and detailed explanation. Hello everyone, welcome to Cracko video series. This video is part of our GK video series for the MBA entrance exams such as CMAT and testnet. General awareness is a very important topic in these MBA entrance exams. So this video series will help you in preparation for GK section. You can also download the PDF of this GK sheet. The link to download is given in the description. So please check it out. We also provide PDFs for static GK and the links for the same are given below in the description. So please check it out. So in this video, we will look at some important current affairs of the month December 2022. This includes various government schemes, force current affairs, business current affairs, defense, key agreements or MOUs, key national and international affairs, etc. As mentioned earlier, you can download this full list of current affairs for December PDF and the link is given in the description. So please check it out. So let's get started. Now let us see some current affairs regarding the RBI Reserve Bank of India. RBI has maintained consumer price index CPI inflation forecast for financial year 2023 at 6.7%. Real financial year 2023 GDP forecast has been lowered to 6.8% from 7%. Inflation is expected to be above 4% in the next one year. The RBI Monetary Policy Committee has raised the repo rate by 35 basis points to 6.25% with immediate effect which is going to make loans expensive. This was the fifth consecutive hike this year. And next standing deposit facility that is 6.00% marginal standing facility rate which is 6.50 percent reverse repo rate which is 3.35 percent statutory liquidity ratio which is 18.00 percent and finally bank rate is 6.50 percent now let us see some important current affairs of fifa world cup 2022 the 22nd edition of fifa world cup concludes argentina clinched their third fifa world cup trophy by defeating france with 4-2 on penalties 3-3 after extra time to win the biggest prize in men's football. Argentina has also won the World Cup twice in 1978 and 1986 under Maradona. Messi also becomes the first player to win two World Cup golden balls. Deepika Padukone unveils the FIFA World Cup trophy in Qatar. The trophy was unveiled before the World Cup final on December 18th. Deepika was the first actor to receive such an honor at world's most watched sporting event. Next, the top four teams in the FIFA World Cup 2022 are Argentina, the winner of the FIFA World Cup 2022, France, third, Croatia, and finally fourth, Morocco. Now let us see the various awards and awardees of FIFA World Cup 2022. Golden Ball Award which was received by Lionel Messi from Argentina. Golden Boot Award which was received by Kylian Mbappe from France. Golden Glow Award which was received by Emiliano Martinez from Argentina. Silver Boot Award which was received by Lionel Messi. And next Silver Ball Award which was received by Kylian Mbappe. FIFA Young Player Award which was received by Enzo Fernandez. And finally FIFA Fair Play Award which was received by the country England. And next Time Magazine has named Zelensky as well as the Spirit of Ukraine as its person of the year 2022 for the resistance the country has shown in the face of Russia's invasion. The Time magazine's editor Edward Felsenthal wrote the, the spirit of Ukraine, referred to Ukrainians around the world including many who fought behind the scenes against the Russian invasion. The spirit of Ukraine was embodied by countless individuals inside and outside the country. Mahatma Gandhi is the only Indian to be named Time person of the year he received the honor in 1930. Next, now let us see some current affairs of defense. The training exercise Astra Hind 2022 between contingents of the Indian Army and the Australian Army begins at Mahajan field firing ranges in Rajasthan. And next, the seventh edition of exercise Sangam, a joint naval special forces exercise between Indian Navy Marcos and US Navy SEALs has commenced in Goa. The United States unveiled its largest high-tech strategic bomber, the B-21 Raider, and it is capable of carrying a nuclear payload and can be flown without a crew on board. India successfully conducted the night trial of nuclear-capable 
ballistic missile Agni 5, which is capable of striking targets at ranges more than 5000 kilometers with very high degree of accuracy. And next, now let us see the current affairs of sports. So, firstly, we have PT Usha has been elected to become the president of the Indian Olympics Association IOA. The Minister of Law and Justice of India congratulated the ace Indian athlete. PT Usha is the first woman president of the Indian Olympics Association. And next, ace football player Ronaldo has been joined the Saudi Arabia club Al Nazr on a two and a half year deal with 200 million euros per season. And next, the third T20 World Cup cricket tournament for the blind was held from December 5th to 17, 2022 in India. Former Indian cricketer Yuvraj Singh is the brand ambassador of the tournament. As per a report by the World Athletics, Indian Olympic gold medalist Neeraj Chopra was the most written about track and field athlete in 2022, replacing the Jamaican athlete Usain Bolt from the top lists. And next, Goa will host India's first ever World Table Tennis Tournament from February 27th to March 5th, 2023. And next, Brazilian football legend Pelé has passed away. He is considered as one of the greatest footballer of all time. He played a huge role in Brazil's three World Cup victories in 1958, 1962 and 1970. And next, now let us see some agreements and MOUs of the month December 2022. The Forbes 2022 list of India's 100 richest. According to the list, the top 10 richest Indians are worth cumulative 385 billion dollars. Adani Group Chairman Gautam Adani has bagged the top spot on the list with a net worth of around 150 billion dollars. And next, Indian tech brand Noise roped in Virat Kohli as its new brand ambassador for their smartwatches. And next, the Tata Group flagship together with its Tata Passengers Electric Mobility Limited, shortly TPEML, has executed the unit transfer agreement with Ford India Private Limited, shortly FIPL, on August 7, 2022 for acquisition Sanand plant in Gujarat for 725 crores. And next, the Indian Space Research Organization has signed an MOU with Social Alpha to launch Space Tech Innovation Network, shortly SPIN. SPIN, SPIN is India's first dedicated platform for innovation, curation and venture development for the burgeoning space and entrepreneurial ecosystem. The space agency said that the tie-up is a one-of-a-kind public-private collaboration for startups and SMEs in the space industry. And next, the famous sports brand Puma has roped in Bollywood actress Anushka Sharma as its brand ambassador. The association is intended to accelerate Puma's strong commitment towards the women consumer segment. And next, now let us see some awards of the month December 2022. Sargam Kaushal has won the Miss World crown after a gap of 21 years ever since an Indian had the last won it. 32 years old Kaushal worked as an English literature teacher before she started preparing to represent at the pageant and is married to an Indian Navy officer Aditya Manohar Sharma. The ace filmmaker SS Rajamoli won the Best Director Award for the film RRR at the New York Film Critics Circle 2022. Also RRR has been nominated in the two categories at the Golden Globe Awards to be held in January 2023. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association, shortly HFPA, has nominated RRR in the Best Picture, Non-English Language Category and the Best Original Song for Natu Natu, also in the Best Original Song Category of Oscar 2023. Natu Natu was shortlisted among 15 songs. And next, the central government announced the Sahitya Academy Award for Literature on December 22. Writer M. Rajendran from Tamil Nadu has received this award for his novel Kala Pani, a historical novel based on the war of Kalayar Kovil or Kalayar Kool. And next, the Wharton QS Reimagine Education Awards, also popularly known as the Oscars of Education, gave significant recognition to the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. The best program awards went to the IIT Madras courses, BS Data Science and NPTEL in partnership with IISC Bangalore. And next, now let us look at some other key current affairs from miscellaneous topics such as national, international and government schemes etc. 
the 23rd hornbill festival 2022 begins at naga heritage village kisama in nagaland the vice president jagdeep dankar graces the inaugural function of the festival as the chief guest the famous hornbill festival of nagaland is scheduled from 1st december to 10th december 2022 chennai based space tech startup agnikul cosmos has launched india's first private launch pad and mission control center at the isro campus at the satish dhawan space center sdsc in sriharikota the facility was inaugurated by isro's chairman s somanath on november 28th a new covid variant the bf7 sub variant of omicron which is prevalent in china is thought to be the cause of present spike in covid-19 infections there the national mathematics day is celebrated to recognize and celebrate the works of srinivas ramanujan the indian mathematical genius srinivas ramanujan was born on december 22nd in the year of 1887 and next iit kanpur is ready with an artificial heart that would be of great help to people with acute cardiac problems iit kanpur and cardiologists from across the country has developed this artificial heart the trials on animals will start from this february or march and next bupendra patel took oath as the chief minister of gujarat for a second straight term in gandhi nagar as bjp clinches a massive victory in gujarat bupendra patel is the 18th chief minister of gujarat congress leader sukhvinder singh sukhu is the new chief minister of himachal pradesh mukesh agnihotri is the deputy chief minister as per the world bank report india will be the first country in the world to receive 100 billion dollars from the remittances during 2022 and next the united nations ranked the namami gange initiative to rejuvenate india's sacred river ganga as one of the top 10 world restoration flagships to give the natural world to mark the 51st anniversary of india's victory in the longewala battle during the 1971 war the anniversary of victory in the epic battle of Longewala was celebrated as Parakram Divas at Longewala War Memorial and Jaisalmer Military Station on 5th December 2022. And next, three new cultural sites in India: the iconic Sun Temple at Modera, historic Vadnagar town in Gujarat, and rock cut relief sculptures at uh, Unakoti in Tripura have been added to the tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. India's Greenhouse in a Box was among the five winners Earth Shot Prize 2022. It is a sustainable solution for small scale farmers developed by an Indian startup Kethi in Telangana. Co-founder and CEO of Kethi is Kaushik K. The Earth Shot Prize was founded by Prince William and the Royal Foundation and this was second edition of the prize. The prize is also dubbed as the Eco Oscars. So these are some of the important current affairs you can read here or you can also download this entire pdf the link to download the entire pdf is given in the description so please check it out we hope this video will help you for the mba entrance exams preparation so thank you so much guys and all the best